150 air watts. How loud a noise is your vacuum cleaner at home? Listen to this. Now, if this, I believe, was a regular vacuum cleaner, you probably wouldn't be able to hear me at home now because of the noise. That's on full power. Yeah, our vacuum cleaner at home frightens the life out of our boy. It's yeah, so loud. It, it, it just freaks him out. So this is nice and quiet as well. That's important. Now, uh, I'm going to show you a little bit of a mess on the floor, but just give that to hold for a second, Mike, if that's OK, because I want to get something to make a mess on the carpet. Now, if you've got pets, uh, this is hair. It's not yours, is it? No, no. I had hair years ago. Have a look at this. This is hair. Pet could be pet hair. This is actually human hair, which I got from the hairdressers. Now you don't have to worry. It is clean. I did make sure that they washed it. Well, that's what she said. You never know sometimes, do you? You jolly well hope so. Uh, but that's hair on the carpet, and what happens with hair is it clings onto the fibres of the carpet. That's why a lot of vacuum cleaners miss. Maybe you bought a pet vacuum in the past. Uh, you'll pay more money if you buy a vacuum cleaner that says pet or animal on it because you need loads of suction to get pet hair up. So yeah, it a lot of clings, isn't it? Yeah, so a lot of companies will actually charge you a premium for picking up pet hair. That's broken glass. That could be screws or nails maybe in a garage. Uh, use it on concrete floor, use it on a hard floor, tile floor, carpeted floor like we've got here. I'll show you on as many different surfaces as possible. Uh, maybe you're a crafter. Those little bits of, uh, I don't know, what do you call them? Embellishments? Yeah, sequins and all kinds of things. Call them what you like. Yeah, call them what you like. Doesn't mate. make any difference to me. Uh, breakfast here, you can walk that into the pile if you want, Mike. Oh, I will. Uh, something a little bit finer. He's quite good at the old dancing, isn't he? Strictly. Holly! Well, I'm not sure. Uh, uh, have a look at this now. This is uh, washing powder. Uh, I'll pop some of that because that's nice and fine down there. Now, you wouldn't normally get that on your carpet. You'd probably get that on your kitchen floor. So that could be your kitchen floor over there. Uh, same with your breakfast cereal. You'd probably get that on your kitchen floor. So we'll make a little bit of Making a mess a right there. Mess, si. uh, tell me when there's enough there. In fact, that'll do, I think. I think that will do, won't it? OK, let's show you how easy it is. Now, you can adjust the height to suit yourself, remember. Just pop that down like so. That's about right for me. Uh, we'll do the breakfast cereal first. Now I'm doing it backwards so you can see what's happening. It's also got a nice wide path, picking up some of those sequins as well. But wow, for the breakfast cool. cereal, it's the easiest that. For those crafty items, you can actually hear them going into the machine. Yeah. Uh, if maybe you... Uh, say, for example, the tank's nice and clean, the bag's empty or the container's empty, and you drop maybe a whole bag of sequins, if your tank's nice and clean, you can reuse them. Yeah. Uh, Broken glass, again, you don't want to be on your hands and knees picking that up. Wow. And that's all gone. Uh, we'll do the pet hair. If you've got cats or dogs, you know the problem with the pet hair, it goes absolutely everywhere. Yeah. You know, it go, they sleep on the sofa. And it sticks, doesn't it? It's a nightmare to get up. Of course, because what happens is the fibres of the pet hair wrap themselves around the carpet, around the sofa, and they're difficult. Drawn. When you've got the right machine to do the job, it really is easy. Porridge oats. Yeah. Now, you probably find these on your kitchen floor. This could be crisps. Mm. You know, the kids have maybe had a few friends around. Maybe if your kids are like mine, they don't need friends around to make a mess. Oh, no. My uh, little boy's always making a mess. Perfect for those as well, because that's what as kids do. his mother, do. actually. She was making a mess. Oh, no, I'm not, I'm not even going there. Uh, this was the washing powder. Now, this sticks to the fibres. What I would recommend with that, use the brush attachment if you want to. Just pop it on like that with your foot. And you can now get deep into the pile to remove all those really fine pieces. And that's how easy it is on the carpet. And they're all stairs. gone. Could be your sofa, could be your three-piece suite. I don't know, you want to see it on hard floor? Yeah, let's do that, mate. Because it works the same on hard floor. Here's the mess look. And you can go from one surface to another without any adjustment, as you can see. That just easy cut swivel head. through there, Simon, isn't it? Yeah, just to show you the path, if you could just stand off the lino for me for a second. Now, hopefully, your floors will be stuck to the floor. Yeah, you'd hope so, wouldn't you? Uh, if you do want to lose a little bit of power, there's a switch on the top, you can actually just take that little bit of an edge off. And you can then... It's quite powerful on there, isn't it? Oh, look at that. Well, you made that look easy. Note to myself, 
get the floor stuck down next yeah. time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But you know what? You're going to clean your car. You're going to clean your floors at home. Simple as that. Uh, can I show you one more demonstration quickly? Go on in, okay. Quickly. And don't forget, we've still got bowling balls to do. We've also got uh, the golf balls, which we'll show you again. I want to show you on a tile floor because a lot of people, like me, have tile floors in a kitchen. Difficult to clean. Unless you have the right equipment. And that's how easy it is. Watch how I said before about edge-to-edge -edge cleaning. Now, just have a look at this. Can you see what's happening? I don't know if you can see this. But the dirt actually jumps into the machine. Look at that. Before the machine even gets there. The dirt can't wait to get inside this machine. What more can you say to that? Other than it's under 80 quid, that's ridiculous. I don't think the price does it justice. It's a great price. You know what? If you've bought a vacuum cleaner before and you've been disappointed, this is the one to go for. Guys, if you want to get yours, it couldn't be simpler with a two-year warranty. That's a two-year guarantee, I should say. This really is an incredible buy. And for under £80, I offer it to you this very evening. 091690 If you are 18 or over with a major form of credit or debit card, press 1 if you want to use your four-digit no callback PIN code, or press 2 if you'd like to speak to a sales assistant. Buying with shop at bid could not be simpler. If you use off uh, method one, press one, tap in 161293, followed by your four-digit no callback PIN code, put your phone down, we'll debit your usual account and deliver to your normal mailing address. Or alternatively, if you'd like to speak to a sales assistant, dial the number and press two. That's if you've never bought before, if you're buying for the first time. Have your credit or debit card payment details at hand, please, and then that way we can get the buying procedure taken care of that much quicker. Show us more, Sai. OK, what would you like to see next? Well, what, anything you like, really. Well, I mean, you've got the bowling balls there. Should we, we could do them. Should we do some bowling balls? Well, let's balls? do the golf balls first. We'll, OK. We'll build up the anticipation a little bit, shall we? I think I don't we want should. to try a new demonstration in this show. Ooh. Is that all right? I've never don't. tried it before live. Why not? What do you want to do? In fact, I've never even tried it not live. Uh, I'll show you. Wait and see. I like, to, I like to leave these things to chance. I like to put the machine to the test. OK. Is that right? Yeah, of course it is, mate. You know me, I like to have a go. I like to make sure these machines really do exactly what we say. And you are, I've never been disappointed with a Vax vacuum cleaner. You know what vacuum cleaner I've got at home? A Vax? You're dead right. Uh... In fact, if you want the truth, I have two. I have one upstairs and one downstairs. Right. Because, you know, if you're a little bit lazy like me, or maybe you can't carry your vacuum cleaner upstairs, buy this to go upstairs. But I, I, I've got to be honest with you, mate, I don't think that's heavy at all. Of course, but you don't even need... If you buy this and you've got one downstairs, you can leave that one upstairs, leave your other one downstairs. Good point. It's a good point. So, what are we going to do now, then, sir? OK, now I've taken off the, uh, the floor cleaning head, I've yes. taken off the aluminium pole, and I'm going to replace it with... A plastic clear see-through tube, as you can see just there. And all I've done is you can... In fact, I'll show you exactly what I've done. I'll just place it in the end. So we've still got the suction. The only difference is it now comes out of there rather than out the, uh, the floor head. OK. Uh, if you turn it on, let's just see exactly how many of these golf balls we can pick up. Now, this tube is a metre long. Uh, the only reason it is a metre long is that's the longest they would have. Right, Simple as that. OK. If they had one two metres, I would have bought a two metre one. But they only had them a metre long. Uh, so, have a look at this. Now, these are golf balls. Nothing special. I bought the orange ones because they match the machine. Have a look at this. It's like winning the lottery. I can't believe the power of that suction sign. Loads and loads of suction, as you can see just here. I'll just move my hose a little bit, make a little bit more room. So, you can see that tube is now full. I can't get any more golf balls in there. If I had a longer tube, I do have some more golf balls. Turn it off, Mike. <laughs> and it really is that easy. So you've got loads of suction power. 250 air watts. Uh, you've got 1,300 watts of power. Remember, it's nice and lightweight. Weighs 5.5 kilos. You've got a nice long power cable. Six metres gives you a 12 metre walk, uh, working span. Because you can go six metres that way, six metres that way, yeah. or that way, or that way. You know, it's entirely up to you. It's easy to move around. It's on big wheels. It'll follow you around. But it's lightweight to push around. It comes with the accessories too. Comes with a little brush. Comes with a crevice tool. They will actually fit onto the machine on the handle. 
so you never ever lose them. In other words, you don't put them in a drawer and forget where they are. They stay on the machine. This is nice and long as well. Three metres, just the actual uh, the hose. When you have the extension tube, you can really reach up high or down low as well. Now, another demonstration, if that's okay. Yeah. Okay, we showed you with the golf balls. What about we show you with the bowling balls? And the reason that I dropped them on the floor is to show you, and hopefully you can hear, that they are real bowling balls. There's no trick. I believe you. OK, now, there is an attachment that comes uh, that you don't get with this machine that I have here, basically. It looks a little bit of a contraption. It does. But in theory, all it is is another tube that's attached to another tube. But it does show, I mean, on there. you've got a lot of cable, you've got a lot of tubing there, so yeah, you, you kind not... of expect it to lose suction through What that. I want to try and do is show everybody at home that it's all connected to this one machine just here, so you know that there's no trick whatsoever. Yeah, as you can just see there. OK, so, all I'm going to do now, in fact, you can do this for me if that's I'll okay. do that for you, If you friend. can place those on the bowling balls, I'll turn the machine on. Okay, tell me when, in fact, tell me when you're ready. Yep. And away you go. <laughs> that is just ridiculous. That is crazy. Ready? Yeah. Watch your toes. That's ridiculous. So loads of suction. Now you're not going to go around picking up bowling balls. No. OK? But just to show you how... Now, this is the demonstration I'd like to try. Right, now, OK. Now, I'm going to try this. Now, just to show everybody, this is... A real heavy table. You that, know how heavy these are. That is a real heavy table. That's a really glass heavy table. table. Yeah, yeah, right? yeah. Uh, pop both of them on. Now, I don't know if this works. I've never tried this before. OK. We tried it earlier on with a wooden table. Yeah. I don't know whether the suction will be enough. I might have to give you a hand with this. I'm not sure, because it is quite heavy. Let's turn it on. Let's wait for it to get up to power. There you go. Ready? Yeah, go for it. Wow. Loads of suction. You can hear the air going through the machine. Let's turn it off. I'll put, I'll put that, I was going to say, I'll put that down put so that it doesn't down, drop. Yeah. Uh, but it just shows you the power that you get with this machine. You know, that's that ridiculous. A... That's heavy. Ri ridiculous. Table, as you can see. It's lifted up a glass table with it. <laughs> I don't know, the things we Goodness do. gracious me. That's Did unbelievable. Can we pick up the couch? Will it get the couch? We're, we're not a removal service. I was going to say, that would be... Oh. Do you want to have a go? Let's have a go at the couch. It? Let's bring the couch forward. Oh, no. This, you know could what, be... this is just getting ridiculous. How heavy is the couch? Our producer said she Do you didn't know what? It wouldn't surprise me if it right, does. Okay. We'll on your go. side, one my side. Okay. Only on live TV. I, I, I'll do. <sighs> Ready? I don't know. It might not do it. It's quite a bit cat. My goodness gracious. Oh. oh yeah. Yeah. But have a look what happened. It wasn't actually the suction that failed. It wasn't. It was the hose that it came off the funnel. It was the hose that came off the funnel. That's ridiculous. Don't worry, I'll find some more tape to go okay. around there. Uh, so there you go, loads of demonstrations we could show you with the power of the suction. But you're probably going to use this more, not for picking up your sofa, maybe for vacuuming your sofa. Maybe for vacuuming your floors, hopefully. Are you all right? I'm just, look, I'm just thinking to myself, that's... For what you buy a vacuum cleaner for, Simon... Yes. ..to get the dirt off the floor, mm -hmm. out your carpet, off the rugs, in your life, out your life... That's going to do it and then some. The most important thing is getting the dirt. Imagine that's the fibres of your carpet. The most important thing is you get the dirt from in between the fibres. Yeah. Yeah, because it's that that damages your carpet. And this machine, I believe, is the best way to do that. I don't dispute that. Let's do some more demonstrations. Let's do some, some more okay. demonstrations, yes, of course. Uh, what else would you like to do? Should we do some more hard floor demonstrations? Yes, why not? I know we've shown you on carpets. Let's do... Let's make a little bit of a mess on this... Um, yeah, let's do this one here. Why not? Now, I use tea leaves here just because they are super fine. Yeah. This could be maybe sugar or coffee or flour that's in your kitchen. In the hallway, it could be anything. You know and what? I've got to say, walk in. in all the time we've been doing this as well, Simon, yes. uh, there's one thing that I haven't said to people at home. Go on, then. Now, I'm stood at this end of it. OK. And not once have I gone, Ugh. Oh, no, but that's because it's got the HEPA filtration at the back. So if you're an allergy sufferer, especially at this time of year, important the spring, you know, things that are in the air at the springtime. Yeah. The pollen. It's important. Well, we, we, we're right next to, around us, we've got fields and fields of the rapeseed oil. Yes, of course. And it germinates and it, and it, it, it comes out of an evening. And I tell you, I, I start sneezing, I guarantee you, between six and seven o'clock, where I live, I start coughing and sneezing. With that HEPA filtration, what that means is it doesn't put the dust and the dirt 
back into the atmosphere. You know, yeah. if you've got a vacuum cleaner that when you turn it on puts more dust out than it sucks up, yeah. get on the phone and order this right now. Yeah, uh, right, let's go to this uh, floor as you can see here. Now this is a, a lino floor. Uh, we've got tile floors, we've got wooden floors, it could be any type of floor and it makes no difference. Uh, just turn the machine on. The most important, I like this, it's nice and quiet. It's really quiet. Now, I don't know if you can see the dirt. If you're getting really close, can you see the dirt jumping in before we get there? Now you go as quick as you like, look. With one pass only. It doesn't push the dirt around. It does what it's designed to do. It picks up that dirt. With those 250 air watts. With that 1,350 watts of power. It gets right up to the edge of the skirting board. Imagine that's your skirting board at home, right? How many people do this with their vacuum cleaner? To get yeah. that bit. Yeah. You know, with this machine, you will get right up to the edge without doing that. You'll get right into the corners. It's got that swivel design head look, can you see? So you can go around things. You know, around the children when they're sat in front of the TV. <laughs> yeah. They don't move, do they? Oh, the thing is, well, they, 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 they can stay sat in front of the TV and you don't have to, like, turn it up to ballistic volumes, do you, really? Oh, they'll still moan. Yeah, they usually do. They'll still moan. Uh, tile floor, fabulous on tiles. You know, I've got a tile floor in the kitchen. It's where a lot of the dirt ends up on the kitchen floor. Mm. You know, a lot of cooking. Uh, our kitchen floor is also where we come in because we come in through the back door rather than the front. Right. Uh, just because we park at the back of the house. Oh, we've got a gravel drive right at the back, like a bit of a courtyard, and what happens is all the dirt, all the dust, all comes in through. So what do we do when we have the house? We had some nice terracotta tiles put down. Shows all of the dust and dirt. But of course it does, yes, brilliant, absolute genius. This is the machine for you. <laughs> this is the machine that'll pick it up. If you've got pets, we all know how pets can be a problem with their pet hair. Let's just move these out of the way. We'll use those later on. If you've got cats or dogs that tend to molt, so right, that's another life. Have a look at this. Let's put the white hair on here so you can see. Uh, what I'm going to try and do tomorrow, I'm going to try and find some cream carpet somewhere so you can see the hair maybe even a little bit better. We'll try and find some of that for tomorrow. Um, didn't bring any with me, forgot the cream carpet. Uh, but I tell you what, if you've got pets, no longer a problem. No. Won't vacuum away the pets. And it can be a problem as well, can't it, the pet hair? It, it really gets in... No fun at, at all. That. Perfect for doing the pet hair. Uh, easy to empty this machine as well. Uh, all you need to do is to push the button at the back just here. What you'll find is then when you push that, you can take off the container. You can then take that over to the dustbin. You can take it outside to the wheelie bin if you have one of those. Push the orange button. The bottom opens. All the dirt falls out. Falls out. You've also got a washable filter inside of here as well. So your machine's always clean to clean with. Yeah. And it is important that you do wash the filters on your vacuum cleaner. And I tell you what, if you've got a vacuum cleaner and you've never washed the filters, cold water, that's all you need. Put it in a bowl. But if you, if you really want to be horrified, get a clear bowl, like the, one of those glass bowls, fill it with cold water and pop the filter in there. Watch the dirt come out. The water will turn black. Nice. Keep your filter nice and clean. Keeps the power in your vacuum cleaner. I'll tell you what I found as well, is with the, uh, the, the one in the middle, because we, we've got a vax in, indoors. Yes. And when you take that out, mm -hmm. just give it a little tap against yeah, the Yeah, tap it on the side of the thing. bin, yeah. It, it just plumes and plumes of dirt and dust comes out. If you want to take the middle filter out, all you do is uh, pop your hand inside, give it a twist, and it all comes out. You can empty it, you can wash it, say, give it a tap, and all the dirt comes out. Yeah. The, back of, uh, the back of the machine where the HEPA filter is, we'll show you that, because we haven't shown you that yet. Again, it's easy to... Uh, Removed. Two little buttons either side. If you just pop them in like so, you can then take that out. There's your HEPA filter. Take that to the sink. Uh, nice cold water is all you need. Uh, leave it to dry naturally. That's a little tip for you. Don't try and dry it artificially. Uh, you don't need to. No. It doesn't take long to dry. You don't do it maybe just before you go to bed. And it's got the recoil the cord uh, retraction on that as well, hasn't it? <laughs> yeah, you know what? If you're fed up with those cables where you have to wrap them around the back of your vacuum cleaner, all you do with this is a little button at the back, push it with your foot. Uh, what's your legs, Mike? There you go. Uh, nice long cable, six metres. It also has two little coloured tapes on here. I'll show you this as well. I don't know if you've ever noticed this. It's not on all vacuum cleaners. Uh, but when you pull it out, you get two coloured tapes on this one. Uh, the best thing to do is keep it in between the red and the yellow. Because then you're not pulling on the cable too much. There you go, and then you're ready to go. When you want to rewind it, just push it and away you go. 
It's a great bit of kit and Vax as well, Vax, Simon. A brand that's been around since 1979. They've been here for 34 years or so now. Two year guarantee, the UK's leading brand in floor care. Yeah. That means vacuum cleaners, that means carpet washers, that means steam cleaners. UK's number one. You want a Vax? Go for this one. And you know as well, Simon, I mean, what makes a good vacuum cleaner? What, what is it you need? Suction. OK, the most important thing when you've got a vacuum cleaner, obviously it's got to be lightweight because you've got to be able to push it, but you need that suction and that's what this machine gives you. You know, when you buy a vacuum cleaner, look for the air watts. Don't look for the wattage of the machine, look for the air watts. This has 250, loads of suction and that's what you need to keep your floors clean. There you go, guys. It's an amazing buy. For under £80, £79.99, at the PMP, of course, so we can get it delivered directly to your door. It's a 24 hour offer, it's our one day special. Dial the number at the bottom of your screen with a two year guarantee. If you want one, press the number one once you've dialed the number, and uh, you can use our four digit no callback pin code. Or alternatively, you can press the number two and speak to one of our sales assistants. Uh, this is all but over, this incredible offer, guys, but it does continue tomorrow on the live show at 8 a.m. Or alternatively, you can go to our website you can buy it right now if you so desire as well for $79.99. Uh, I'm going to say thank you to Simon. A uh, real my pleasure. pleasure, Simon. Yes, thank always. you, sir. You're back tomorrow morning, bright and early. I am indeed, yeah. I'm going to go and get some sleep. Uh, and some blonde hair. No, no, I've got a bowl full just here. Have a look at this. In fact, you might want to take some of this home with you. Oh. <laughs> you know how to cut a man to the quick. I'm Guys, sorry. don't go anywhere. I've got some stunning jewellery still to come and some more DIY bits and bobs for you. It's always great when you shop at Bid. There are lots of different products when you shop at Bid. At the top of the screen, we'll tell you exactly which category of product you're looking at. You'll notice underneath that there's an individual item number. You'll need to make a note of this when you speak personally to one of our sales assistants. So you know exactly what it is you're buying, the brand and description will appear here. And this is where we'll show you if there's a choice of colour and size. Finally, the price you'll be paying will appear here. All you need to do is phone this number and confirm your order with one of our sales assistants. Your calls will only be 20 pence per minute from a BT landline or you can buy directly from the website. Then just sit back, relax and wait for your selection to arrive directly to your door. So wherever you see the shop at bid sign, you can be sure you're going to get great value, great service and great products. Bid bringing great products to life.